Much of the Porsche 911's cachet is built on racing success. The 2017 911 RSR competes in both Europe and the US in the World Endurance and IMSA Sports Car Championships. After two years in development, the car rolled into action at the season opening 24 hours of Daytona, finishing an impressive second. It's been a really exciting program to be a part of. Um, all the work that's been done in Vysok, to be the ones to race it in the first race ever, it's really like uh, being part of the birth of, of something amazing and, and something significant in, in Porsche's history. The main focus from the factory was to develop the car. Um, I was the first one driving it in Weisser and I think I nearly was at every test because they tried to have always one constant driver who can judge the changes they did. So I think everybody has done a, a very good job. The new RSR features the same 4-litre flat-six engine but positioned ahead of the rear axle. The mid-engine model created room for engineers to enhance the diffuser and rear spoiler in a radical redesign. In the, the predecessor, you had the engine behind the rear axle, so you had the passenger compartment, transmission in line with the rear axle, then the engine. Well, we flipped that around for this year where you have the passenger compartment, then the engine, and then the gearbox or transmission in line with the rear axle. It's a brand new approach, but uh, Porsche have a lot of experience with many other cars. There is also Cayman's car with mid-engine car, and uh, we have some data from that. So we didn't start from a white page completely. We have still some experience in that. With the 24 hours of Le Mans at the heart of the season, the development team took the time to listen to the drivers piloting the car in the longer endurance races. As you see, the car is uh, bigger, wider uh, and the bigger wings, so it's quicker obviously, but the main focus for us drivers was to make it easier to do 24 hours, so we have a nice airflow inside, we have a nice sitting position, we have a lot of stuff what we really did not like in the old car, we made it better in this car and we hope that at the end it's the step we needed to, to be there to fight for the championship. In racing, time spent in the pits is critical and the engineers at Weissach address the serviceability of the car using the Porsche design philosophy. The engineer in Weissach, they try to optimize every aspect. For sure the performance is something, but also they improve all the connection on the car. If you want to change a bumper, if you want to change the full bodywork of the car, it's about five minutes now. So it's really quick and also easier for the mechanics to work on the car. If you want to make a quick change during the practice, you gain like uh, two or three times quicker than in the past. It's just small details, but at the end it makes the difference between victory and second position. The car is taking on the might of Corvette, Ford, Ferrari and Aston Martin on both sides of the Atlantic this season. With Porsche blood coursing through its veins, the new RSR looks set to join its historic predecessors. The car is just better, better handling, especially for the new driver. I think they, they are pretty surprised about how it's easy to drive this car. It's still the DNA from Porsche inside. And uh, it's just an evolution of the whole 911 RSR, but it's, uh, it's quite a big step. The feedback has been really positive all around. The car really performs well in a variety of conditions. But like for the mechanics and the engineers, hey, it's still a 911, still drives like a 911, that, the feeling that guys know and love, um, it's still there.